let us consider a beaker consisting of a liquid having density rho let rho be the rho be the density of the liquid density of liquid let a body a cylindrical body be immersed in this liquid let sigma be the density of the solid sigma density of the solid density of solid and we know that whenever a body is immersed in a liquid the body displaces an equal volume of equal volume of liquid that is these two volumes remains the same because in order to occupy the volume of the solid a volume must be displaced so if v is the volume of the solid then v is the volume of the liquid displaced clear this is the liquid and from the from the archimedes principle we know that there is an upthrust acting in the there is an buoyant force or the resultant upthrust acting on the body that's that that force that resultant upthrust is actually the resultant of these two forces that is the force on the upper side and the force on the lower side the resultant of these two forces is the resultant upthrust and so definitely an upthrust act on this body and if that body since it has mass it has a weight w which act downward so w is the w is the weight of the body weight of the body and u the upthrust or or the buoyant force buoyant force so since the weight is in the downward direction for this body its weight is in the downward direction and upthrust in the upward direction therefore apparent weight apparent weight let's call that as w a p is equal to weight of the body minus upthrust since they are equal they are in opposite direction one should be taken as positive and other as negative so the resultant will be w minus u but according to archimedes principle you know that the upthrust is equal to weight of the <laughs> weight of the fluid or the weight of the liquid displaced by the body since volume of the body is v the density of the liquid is rho and the gravity is g this is the weight of the fluid displaced by the body v rho g so and you know weight of the body is equal to mass times gravity but m is equal to m is equal to volume into density of the solid is sigma sigma g so w is equal to v sigma g minus v rho g you can take the vg outside it will be sigma minus rho or if you take the rho outside or if you take the sigma outside you will get apparent weight w a p is equal to v g if you take the sigma outside then here it will be 1 minus in order to compensate for the sigma you have to divide the second term by sigma so that the sigma and sigma will get cancelled and it will become rho and now the apparent weight w a p is equal to w apparent weight is equal to but we you know v into g into sigma or v sigma g is the weight of the body w the actual weight of the body minus rho by sigma this is the expression for apparent weight of the body clear where w is the actual weight of the body actual weight actual weight 
clear.